Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to AFK in the dig site. Just for representation, this is what it's going to look like at the end. So make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss any steps. Also guys, before we get started to this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe with your username down in the comments below for a chance to win this huge Poseidon Corgi. I'll be choosing one of you guys in the comments below if I hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the month. So make sure to subscribe to not miss out on that. So now let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download this app on autohotkey.com. So go into Google, look up autohotkey.com, download version 1.1. I'm also going to be leaving a link in the description if you guys aren't able to find it. And just open it up, click yes, and download it. It should say installation complete, and now you can exit out. And now you just have to download the second file. I'm going to be leaving it in the description below. So all you have to do is click the link and it'll send you to this place where it'll give you a Pet Simulator 99 dig site macro. Then you just have to download this raw file. Once you have it downloaded, just make sure to place it somewhere safe and somewhere you will remember. Now just open the file. Once you have it open, you're going to need to change some of these values. First, select Roblox the notepad again and then make sure to go into the dig site and once you're the dig site make sure to set up your guy right around here and dig one block down so that you'll have the go to top button and just open back on your notepad the first file you're going to need to change is the mining box one and the mining box y2 to get these values you're first going to have to open up windows spy now that you have it open you just have to click so that you select roblox make sure the chat is out and put it to the right left of the corner but make sure it doesn't get any of this text or this button on the bottom then hold shift and just copy these values now that you have the values copied you're first going to have to go back into the notepad and just paste these values However, you're going to have two of these values, so make sure to change the second one into the mining box Y1. Now you've got both of these done, you're going to have to change mining box X2 and Y2. So select Roblox again, make sure it doesn't get any of these texts, and hold shift again. Now copy these values and paste it back into the notepad. Yet again, you're going to be stuck with two values, so make sure to delete these commas in between and place it in the second mining box Y2. Now you're going to need to change the go to top X1s and X2s, so let's do that now. You can do the same thing by clicking Roblox, go to the top left of the button, but don't actually hover over the button, and hold shift. Now go back, copy the values, and paste it back into Notepad. Now you're going to need the second values, which is going to be X2 and Y2, so go back and select Roblox again. Hold shift, copy the values, and paste it back into your Notepad. Now you've got two of these values down. You're going to need to change the home X and home Y values. You can do that by yet again selecting Roblox, going to the middle of the home button, and holding shift. Now go back into the notepad and change both of these values. Now you're going to need to change the character X and Y values. So you can do that by going into Roblox, standing right about here, zooming out, and make sure your mouse is right in the middle of the character. And yet again, hold shift, copy the values, and replace it for the values in the notepad. Now you basically put in all the values, you're just going to have to change the shovel. So depending on what type of shovel you have, just change it to this new number. However, I've got a rarity more than the golden shovel, but I'm just going to be placing six since that's the highest it goes to. Now when I first did this, I was having problems with it moving my character's point of view. So did everybody a favor and asked a quick question on his YouTube channel and he responded. So now I'm going to be copying this thing. If you have the same problem as me, make sure to follow along and paste these new values. Now finally, I'm going to save this file and exit out. However, if you go to this AFK stuff, you'll still see it's a text file. So now we're just going to have to change that. If you're not seeing this .txt, just make sure to click these three dots, options, views, and make sure you disable the hide extensions for known file types. Now that you have that done, you can just edit the text file and change it to .ahk. It does give you a warning about how the file might be unstable, but just click yes. 
Now you can open it up, click yes again, and then go out and then back into the dig site. And then once you re-enter the dig site, make sure to not click any buttons and then click F1. This will then make your character go into a specific path. As long as there's nothing blocking it, it'll go where it needs to go. To be honest guys, it really does get most of the chests, but for some reason I've noticed that it keeps on clicking home before it even goes to the bottom. So I'm very confused about that. Hopefully Kill Your Boy will release a new version soon, but for now I believe he's on vacation. Until then though, I really hope this helped you guys, and good luck getting the huge fossil dragon. However, if you do want a free huge, make sure to leave your username down in the comments below for a chance to win a huge Poseidon Corgi. That's about it for the video, and have a great day.